Yo, what is up, all you beautiful credit repair business owners, all you credit repair hustlers? All right, guys, what is up? What is good? Today's video, we're gonna be talking about the CRM because we made a lot of updates, guys. Now, and you guys gotta check this out. This is very important. And for all of you clients that are just starting up uh, right now with us, I recommend watching this video because it's gonna give you a great overview of the entire CRM. So just stay tuned, guys. Let's, let's just get straight to the point. Hop into this video. Let me share my screen over here with you guys. Uh, I, was, I was over here, so I actually had to record this twice. It worked the first time, um, but let's hop over here. So first thing you notice over here, by the way, this is a blank account over here. So it's it's a blank account. This is why I only see one opportunity. No one's really using this right now. It's just kind of we, we do it to just work off of. Um, over here, you see opportunity section over here. You can see everybody, all of your opportunities, all of your leads pretty much. Pipeline value, you can see how much value your leads have if that makes sense your conversion rate over here this is the value of everything you got in your system pretty much in your crm conversion rate over here uh your funnel it just shows just some a couple of stats over here uh, based upon your pipelines over here we have the manual actions over here so it's going to show the phone calls total pending sms's that are going out and then depending on what workflows uh, and who you're like who, which one of your clothes are on your team. So for example, these are just two people that I was just working with, not working with, they were helping me out. And that's what they're on here. But pretty much what you're able to do is you're able to see all the text messages and phone numbers going out for each, for the entire team or each individual users. Tasks are pretty much, I consider them as just reminders over here. And it shows the upcoming tasks that you need to do. So for example, let's say that somebody says they don't, they, they're getting this, they don't have enough money and they're getting the stimulus check two weeks later, you can put a task on there saying to contact this person in two weeks. It's a kind of reminder. All right, lead source report. This is some reportings. Uh, lead online listing had moved over here. So this is pretty much your Google My Business reviews. But like I said, it is not connected to anybody's account. So you're not gonna see the Google My Business reviews actually on there uh, just yet until you connect to an account. Next section over here is the conversations. Pretty simple over here, pretty standard. All right, so what, one thing that we actually updated here is typically what happened before is when you're putting people through all these emails, uh, text message campaigns, all these automated responses, all these automated emails going out to these people specifically, like a needs nurture campaign that goes out for like three months. Uh, a lot of times, what we, the problem that we're running into before is that those emails, those automated emails will actually populate into here and people would just lose track of the people that they're currently talking to. There's all these massive flow of emails are coming here and they would push the other active, e active people that they're talking to down. So what we just did is one sends an automated uh, when it sends an automated email, a text message, whatever it is, it's automatically marked them as red from the campaign. So it won't populate on here. And all your unread stuff will just populate here. This is a recent, uh, this, this is just your recent messages. These are all your messages. So you actually see the active campaigns there. Over here, you can press on, you can filter it uh, through whatever, however you want. You can compose something right through there. Pretty simple. Uh, this is just me testing stuff out. You can archive it. You can mark as unread. If you mark it unread, it's actually going to move it over to here. You can delete it. I can do that. Uh, you can talk to people over here through SMS and through email. Another co cool thing that we also recently implemented was templates. Templates pretty much just so you don't have to type everything out multiple, multiple times. For example, let's go to credit. Let's say the, the car declined. Use a template. Hey, all you have to do is change this. Hey, Blade. I hope you have a wonderful day. This is Kenneth. Blah, 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 blah. It's actually a reminder that in order to update your system, we need to uh, keep your credit monitoring active. We need to contact you a lot. Well, just a template, simple, right? Clear it there. Email, simple stuff like that. Clear that. Uh, this is just a preview on the right hand side. It shows the opportunities over here, and the opportunities are pretty much the flow of the lead, the stages that the leads go through. And we'll go into that in a second, but we'll just continue with here. Over here, it shows the actual tags that they're going on. So it's going to show a lot of stuff here because I was just playing around, testing stuff out. DND, just that. Just, uh, you can't contact them anymore. So turn them off. If you turn them off, like DND means do not disturb and just turn off all the campaigns that I have on them. Uh, on the right-hand side, you see you can schedule an appointment right there with them on the calendar. You can add notes on the bottom, pretty standard, pretty simple stuff. Create opportunity, you can add them to another opportunity. You can duplicate it by create opportunity or you can just update the opportunity by clicking this and move them on to another opportunity stage right through there. Move them on to one, open whatever you want to do, change the lead value, source, where we're coming from, assign to a specific sales representative that you had just by doing that. 
Um, if you want to just actually get more information about them, you click the actual profile icon right there. From here, obviously, the contact info, which we were just talking about before. On the left-hand side, you have the general info, street, blah, blah, blah X, Y, Z, time zone, things like that. On the other side, additional info, this is what I actually really like over here, is that you say that you, you have a standard amount of survey questions or using one of our funnels that have the survey questions over here the pre-qualification survey questions. Uh, you can put them over here, you can check them off. You see, be able to see them over here where they check off and say you do this, this, and let's say you do this one. You can go over here, press hide empty fields and only show you the ones you click off. Just something, just to make it a little simpler over here. You can call them up directly by clicking this, uh, calling unknown, which is, I don't know why it says unknown. Uh, pop this down below. Uh, you could actually mute them, dial, press hold, you can blind transfer, blind transfers is transferred to another random person on your team. Warm transfer, transfer something specific. Dial contacts over here, simple stuff. Tasks over here, which I was saying, you can create tasks. This is a reminder, pretty much. Contact now. No, contact in a week. Uh, in a week to make money. All right, description assigned to a specific, assigned to somebody. John, a specific date. Pretty simple stuff. Press check. Uh, save that. I'm not gonna save it. Notes over here is one of my favorite ones. I have very detailed notes on everybody here. I was writing notes before. Uh, like I said, I had to record this video twice, so I was writing. That <laughs> I wrote this down here before. It's right, whatever. Blah blah. And press save. Simple, standard. And all those notes, by the way, you'd be able to see in the actual app. And I'm going to talking about the app in a second uh it's after i go over the actual crm on the desktop wise i'll go into about the app in a second hold on a second this might take a little bit to talk about the crm because there's a lot in here <laughs> oops i need the workflows opportunity section over here so we actually have two different type of opportunity things over here opportunity pipelines just the kind of mostly just personal preference how you kind of like to see it um, oops this is how, how you like it to see it. When I'm running ads for my clients, we usually use this one, uh, but depends completely on what you like, up to you. Sometimes this might bug out over here, so I'm gonna, especially because I don't have a phone number connected to this, so it's trying to dial through when I don't have a phone number connected. So you refresh this really quick. You're gonna see a couple of these. Yeah, there's a problem with the mail gun because we don't have a mail gun on here. Get a phone number. Like I said, we have a phone number on here. It's just a blank account. Uh, what the cool thing about here is you can just move this thing over to another thing. It's going to add another tag. It's going to add them to another campaign. So usually what we do is when we're running on ads, people that come into the new leads, you move over to chat now if they want it or they select chat now. You use nurture, free consult, miss consult, signed up, miss payments, X, Y, Z. Simple things like that. All right. Um, and obviously, every time you move them over, adds them to another tag and adds them to another campaign, email, text message, campaign. Workflows. Wait, what is a workflow? Well, actually, what they did, this, this software is called Go High Level. Go High Level, what they did is they're trying to get rid of triggers and marketing campaign. Marketing campaigns and triggers over here, and they're trying to convert everybody they just use workflows. Uh, workflows are just a series of emails and text messages going out. Uh, we have them for just about every single case that you can possibly think of. So, what is it, nine right here? So, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, cool, good. So, over here, pretty simple stuff. Affiliates, ask for affiliates. Uh, client workflow, which onboarding, birthday, monitoring, client issue, high utilization, late, new, late workflow, uh, move to one, things like that. Just simple stuff, just onboard the clients. Data housekeeping, what is that? It's pretty much just email opt ins. Out down 30 days, email bounce, things like that. Funnel workflows over here. Um, complete quiz appointment, appointment, create opportunities, just things like that. Uh, the main one that we mainly use is this one over here. So when they come in as a lead from Facebook, uh, we move on to chat now and they book an appointment, you must confirm it, things like that. And what we actually recently implemented in this book appointment is that no longer do they have to, do they, we found it works better that if they confirm the appointment, two hours prior to the meeting. Originally what we had it doing is as soon as they scheduled that appointment, we'd have them to respond yes to confirm the appointment to ensure that they'll show up to the meeting. But instead of what we did is two hours prior to the actual meeting, we sent them out a message saying, hey, we understand life happens. We understand that you're not always able to show up. Click the link to below if you need to reschedule or type respond yes to this email or the text message just to confirm the appointment and show you that you actually show up because you take these consults very seriously. Important reminders, pretty standard, needs nurturing. So let's say not able to close somebody. 
Uh, you put them with needs nurturing, has three months out, it just sends them more value just to build a trust with their relationship. And so eventually you can hopefully get them to schedule an appointment. All these have links just to the calendar as well. Appointment no show, for example, just how do you get them back in, add to clients, add to client, ask them for testimonies, reviews, things like that. 45 day, no follow up, no sales, this guy has no money or he uses a different company or something like that. If he's a different company, we put him in a 45 day, no sale. They decide to use a different company. We put him in this 45 day, no sale. And 45 day, days later, or you can make 90 days later, but we do 45, 45 days later, you can't, it's an extended amount of message saying, hey, still interested in fixing your credit or has that company? Well, it's going to say, hey, still interested in fixing your credit? How's your credit score looking? Just to retouch back with them is that last chance, uh, try to get into them, try to get their business. Birthday reminder, pretty simple. Chat about funding. If you're interested about funding, goes over to here. Base, respond to workflow, scheduling. Uh, there's a couple other things that we can use as well. This is all... I recommend you guys checking this stuff out. I think you guys are like that. Like I said, the main one that we use is pipeline based. Next one guy over here is reporting, uh, shows you the information, Google ads, Facebook ads, attribution, uh, how much you're making, stats like that, call reporting on your calls, agent reporting, your specific agents that you're using, appointment reports. There's some more stats to help you optimize further. Actual scheduling, this shows the calendar over here. Uh, you can change between calendars that you have. Nope. You can make it weekly, monthly, or daily basis, monthly, things like that. Your appointments will pop up over here. You can schedule an appointment right there. Replication is pretty much just your Google My Business reviews. It will pop up over here. You can send a review request to people specifically. Let me take a blade. You know, phone number right there, phone number right there. Boom. Send a review invite just to review in your Google My Business. Online listing, which is Oh, online listing is a new thing that we're implementing as well. And we're gathering about $49 or like $69 a month. Pretty much what this does is it helps you rank on, on Google a lot better. So overall, you Google My Business is, is it ranks mainly by three main things. Obviously, being active on it. Being active on your Google My Business, showing proximity and relevance. Uh, in addition to that, one other secret that most people kind of have underestimated to kind of rent, not to kind of to rank up your Google my business to the first page and get it really high up there. Like I call it the Google three pack, kind of get it as the third review as a third business up there is this. Pretty much what this does is it puts your Google my business on a bunch of other sites. So you can have all these other backlinks going to it. And by having all these backlinks, it actually shows, it actually provides you with a lot of traffic. And with all that traffic going to your site, it's going to help you rank up on Google my business a lot quicker. Pretty simple like that. They have 150 third-party publishers to push your brand's data to. Pretty simple, just like that, like I was talking about. Next section over here is the contacts. Now, it's all the contacts that are in your database over here. And what you can do is you can you can click them all. You can select them all. You can you can filter them out to individual tag, tag. Oops, tag, tag is. It's an active client. You can pull up all the active clients. You can do pipe. You can do a baseline on pipeline stage pipeline stage or you can do multiple two pipeline stage is pipeline whoops pipeline is this one um blah, blah, whatever whatever you want to do obviously there's no pipe there's no one in that pipeline right now or pipeline stage um simple like that you can filter people just to find individuals you can add contacts right there here you can move out multiple contacts with different pipeline by clicking that you select a different pipeline they want to move those people over to this one you're doing basic edits uh, add to campaign, you can add mass add everybody to a specific campaign slash workflow. You can send, you can mass send everybody an SMS or an email. So that's kind of like your newsletters are you trying to do or broadcast and everybody out an email. Uh, add them a tags. So you can add someone's tags on there. So these nurture, add to client tag, or you can remove the tag as well. You can delete contacts right there. You send review requests to all the clients out there. So for example, if you do like more filters, select stage, and you do like cramp down dun, 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 dun. Do like active clients Oops. signed up right there. Then what I would do is I send all the active clients, I click that, and then they'll pop up another button over here saying select off. It has multiple different if it's on multiple pages, you know, as in like it doesn't fit this matter page, you have to go to another page, click select all, and you go to press send review request, sends them all review requests. Simple. You can also you can export all of these contacts onto a little CSV file. You can also import a CSV file onto here, and it's very, very simple. You import it and it has like little filters that you just select and you put it into there. Pretty simple. 
uh, emerge contacts as well. You guys don't have to worry about that. Probably not gonna use that. Both actions, probably not gonna use that. Settings, just other information there. Probably not gonna use that stuff. No worries. Uh, triggers, don't worry about that. Chat widget is something pretty cool. You can actually add a little chat budget, budget, blah, blah, blah. You can add a little chat bubble widget onto your funnels or onto your website, but just by taking this, taking this code and putting it onto there. And you can also, as you can see, you can put into Google Tag Manager as well. Uh, settings, we're going to that in a second. Top over to my funnels over here. We don't have any websites, or we, yeah, we don't have any memberships either. Membership is just a course that you can sell on here. Uh, pretty simple. Let me show you. So over here, products, you don't have anything in here. You can sell your own membership course on here. And it's really cool just to get people, like what we usually typically tell people to do, have a little upfront offer to get people in and then sell them on other things as well after. We got some of the funnels that we have. We have a whole bunch of them, guys. Uh, privacy policy and the terms of use, pretty much, it's pretty standard. You know, you got to have that when you're running ads and just doing multiple different things. Credit per main funnel um, over here is just a simple funnel that you could use if you guys want. This one over here. Uh, let me just show you how it looks. Over here is one of our clients that are working with one financial business. Uh, goes to a schedule or to a survey and to confirm. And what we see is, let's say that, and how we set this up with the schedule and the survey, we set this up pretty smart. Not just toot my own horn a little bit. <laughs> but the way we set this up is you can just move over here to here, play while you're doing that. Uh, the reason why, because let's say you have a bunch of leads coming in, but you want more quality. If you want more quality, move the survey before the schedule. If you want less quality and more leads, move it after. Pretty simple as that. You yeah, obviously see these are all just very simple to edit these pages. You click on edit page over here. You go over here and everything's very drag and drop. It's kind of similar to click funnels. You can add another row over here, add headlines, a paragraphs, buttons, videos, blah, blah, blah. I, mean, I recommend just kind of just going through this and kind of learning for yourself. Everything's very drag and drop. If you really need help, let me know. I'm more than happy to help you guys out. Padding, things like that. Uh, image URL, you got videos here. Very, very drag and drop. Uh, very simple to use, very user-friendly. No coding required. Stats, just the stats on people that based upon traffic sources, based upon traffic that go into there. So for example, we just went to here. So let's go over here. Let's go to like literally today. It probably should show us as a click or it might not be pre actually does right there. See uh, sales over here. If you have a product link to it, settings over here, just so you can select the domain you want to use, change the name of it, change the path. The path is, let's say using my domain, the project alpha.com path is the project alpha.com slash landing page or credit repair or watch video at day survey two zero blah, blah, blah. just like that chat widget you can press this you can put the chat widget on there pretty simple check domain favicon favicon is this little the project alpha symbol right there you got to put it on the here or you can put it on each individual page by going edit page you go to seo tracking code wait we gotta show you so you go over here go to settings over here SEO metadata over here, social image is also the favicon. Go over here, I mean, I don't think I have anything here. I, I'm gonna put this on the black one, but that's what you do, you just put it on there. Very simple, that's how you add pictures on there. You can also press, as you saw over there, you press upload image, upload any image from your, from your Dropbox, Google Drive, or from your desktop or from your computer and put it onto here, very simply. That's the first funnel though. Second funnel that we got is over here. Actually, which one do we do? We do this one, create a funnel. Next one over here is funnel two. This is a more of a long one. Over here, pretty simple. It's another funnel you can utilize for yourself. Very simple. And then quiz, book consultation, get reports, DID, club credentials, fine. Confirm. Pretty simple. Just another funnel they can utilize. All right, uh, to quiz all in one. Now, this one just gives you a bunch of landing page templates that you can utilize as well. All right, we're just giving you options here. Choose whatever you want to use. Reschedules is a reschedule button. I mean, just has a standard one over here. Credit repair funnel, I think we went over this one. Uh, this one's more of a long tail copy type of page. And it goes down, just goes down, long tail copy. This actually performs really well though. Booking page confirm, subscribe, very simple. If I need to rent to the homeowner, this one's different because this is more specifically from a person that's trying to go from a renter to a homeowner to credit repair. We have two versions of this one. We have a dark version and we also have a light version. We got the dark side, we got the light version. I feel like a freaking Jedi over here, Star Wars. All right, this is me just losing my mind. All right, we got the dark version over here. We got the landing 
blue over here, the blue version over here, the lighter. Most people kind of prefer the darker version of it. And personal preference, really. All convert kind of the same, all the same copy in those two. Those are the landing page templates that you guys can choose from and edit yourself. Pretty simple, pretty standard. Now, the last section I want to go over is just the settings. Settings are pretty simple. Company over here, company details, go over your information, company email, phone, website, address, general, allow duplicate content, leave that how it is, or if you need help with that, I'll help you out. Voicemail, general voicemail you can add onto here. Um, it's, it uploads an MP3 slash WAV file. The thing is your iPhone, if you're doing an iPhone recording, if you're recording an iPhone on a voicemail or something like that, that records it into like an M3A or something like that. All you have to go is go online, look up online, go like M3A to MP3 online converter free, and it'll transfer you, very simple. Missed call text back over here. You know, call text back, very simple. Team management, this is the team you can put on here. So you add employees here. Uh, add employee, add their info over here first, last, email, phone number, and password. They sign in to their email over here. Uh, this is email signature, so that's just like on the very bottom of the email where standard goes out. So for me, for example, it's my usually like two year success, Blade Toronto, CEO, CEO of uh, the Project Alpha, my phone number, email below that. You can put them on a specific calendar right there. You can give it permissions. You can block out certain permissions that they have so they can't see stuff. Use a role as you make an admin or a user. Call and voicemail settings. You can get them each individual voicemail that they can put on themselves. Uh, user availability. They add the hours that they're available to work. For your standard user calendar configuration, once they actually put their Google Calendar on here, which I recommend, I'll show you how to do that soon. So it'll populate onto here and show the Google Calendar over there. But that's pretty standard over here. Just adding your team, your sales team, whatever you want to do. Teams, you can break this up between like appointment setters and sales teams. So you have appointment setters kind of reaching out to these people, scheduling appointments for the sales team. Just so how you can kind of keep everything kind of sympathize, sympathized. So it's just a, just a way to keep everything in track, as I'm trying to say. Reputation, once again, you can do my business. Pipelines over here is the two pipelines that we have. If we went over before the opportunity section. Integration, connect your Google account to add your Google My Business over here by clicking that. You can add your Google Calendar on there. Recommend doing that. Highly recommend doing that. Facebook, Instagram, put on there. If you want to put your QuickBooks on there. I never use Clio, so I'm not going to talk about that. Stripe, you can put, take payments right to here. Phone numbers over here. You can get a phone number here through Twilio. You click on this, press 201, and you can get a phone number right to Twilio, whatever area code you want. Calendars is your calendars. You add more calendars on here as well. Templates is what we went over before, like those temp those so you don't have to type out multiple different things. Um, you can just press it. template over here, affiliate, and you can type in here and create your own templates. Uh, text message, email. So you just click on the template and you can type in. You can have something pre populated so you don't not always type in the same thing multiple, multiple times. Custom fields, pretty simple over here. It's just the things we have on the survey things, survey questions, Facebook fields, form map. We don't have anything based. Don't worry about that one. A custom values, custom values are like little links that when you're sending out email sequences and text message sequences, you're probably not going to use it too much. I just recommend setting it up. So for example, like putting a Twilio number here, bringing terms and conditions domain on here, Facebook group on here, client, for example, client results, you can sell a position, Twilio number, company phone number, just things like that, company address, filling that stuff out, recommend doing that. Uh, domain, definitely integrate your domain. You're going to need that. Pretty simple if you're having trouble. Uh, watch that how-to video, I'll walk you through exactly how to do that. Tags, just the tags that we have on here and whatever you want. SMT, mail gun. Mail gun is just your e e email pusher outer. <laughs> that was a terrible way to explain it. It's just your email chain. It's kind of like Twilio. It's where, it's where you get charged through sending out emails on mass, on a mass scale. Payments over here, you can go from Stripe, create new products, simple like that. URL redirects are new, actually. Um, it's just like custom values, kind of. You add a redirect over here. So, for example, it's like domain, we don't have any domains in here. You can take the project alpha slash lady killer, and it'll take you over to a specific URL they have over here. Funnel or website. So, funnel over here, select funnel, you can check one of them website, one of your websites, whatever you want to do. Media is just all the uh, the media they have, you know, the photos they have on here. And you can, and they, I love how they change this, but you can add little folders and how you have it on here. But just to keep everything organized, a lot more simple. 
Um, that's pretty much about it, guys. I know I went over it kind of fast. If you have any questions whatsoever, please let me know. Don't hesitate to reach out, guys. Like I said, guys, if you're interested in actually trying this out, get your credit for business, I'd be more than happy to set you guys up. And if you want a custom built CRM for your individual niche, let's say you're not a credit for a company, let's say you got a software business. We have actually, we have CRMs for software business. Let's say your e-commerce, let's say anything else. Let's say your chiropractor, a dentist, real estate agent, whatever you guys are, like we make custom CRMs just for you guys. So if you guys need a custom CRM I can really built out for you, schedule a strategy session with me and we're more than happy to help you guys out. Guys, also one, one of the note, we just launched Funnel Hacker Labs 2.0, guys. So if you haven't checked out Funnel Hacker Labs, I highly recommend you check that out. We have over 300 plus different landing page templates. We also have a ClickFunnels cloner tool, which you can clone any ClickFunnels landing page and paste into your own editor. We're also trying to integrate that with Go High Level. We'll get that done soon. But the main thing is we have a huge database of just a bunch of funnel different bunch of funnel templates, right? And they're already proven to convert. So I recommend you check that out. Link will be in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Feel free to reach out to me, guys. I answer all your questions, all your comments, questions, concerns. Just got your strategy session. We need help. And guys, just to, before I lock off, guys, I really appreciate everything you do for this channel, all the support. Really appreciate all you guys actually engaging in my Facebook groups or my or in my Discord, guys. So I really appreciate that. And lastly, before I sign out, is just give that button. There's a new feature on YouTube where you hit that subscribe button and you actually be, and you actually will be able to see my new videos that I post. And if you hit that little bell icon, that notification button, it's even better, guys. And it's just gonna help the algorithm out. So thank you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. I'll talk, peace out. Yo, hold up guys, before you clock out, remember I was telling you guys how we have that actual app where we have the entire CRM condensed and just condensed and just, just uh, condensed into this app. So over here, so let me just share my screen over here and let me show you this app. Take me two more seconds, maybe not two more seconds, but it'll take me a little bit. Let me just show you this app, go through it really quick. I think this is very important that you guys check out. Sure, on this app over here, Pretty simple. You have the home screen over here, which I was talking about the stats before. You can co you can conversate with everybody over here, unread, recent, and all over here. You just talk to everybody through here. You you can send attachments, record video. You can put templates over here as well. Send an email. You have a choice: of email, text messages. You actually have Instagram messages through here. You also have Facebook messages through here, and also WhatsApp through here as well. If you integrate it as well, you can call them right on the top top right. You can see there, you can mark it on the red, view contact, book appointment, request payment over here. That thing is pretty cool. Um, over here, you can also archive the lead conversation. You can view the content, see contact, see more information about them, what you wanted before, notes, tasks, appointment, pretty standard like we talked about before. Bottom over here, you can see the entire pipeline over here and where everybody is. Uh, over here, you can see your calendar over here. You can book appointments by clicking that bottom right-hand plus sign, book an appointment right there. Pretty simple. Over here on the right hand side, you can see the entire contact list, and you can also add contacts to there. Guys, like I said, it's gonna be really quick, but thank you guys for watching once again. That's the app. It's very, very simple. It's called the Go High Level app. Uh, the high, it's called High Level actually. And I highly recommend if you guys have Go High Level, regardless of using my CRM or not, I highly recommend you check out that app just so you can get so be notified. You can be you can be mobile, guys. You can go on the run and actually run your business while you're not in front of your laptop while you're on the beach or something like that thank you guys for watching i'll talk to y'all later